Frank, you're all covered with plaster from uh, put splinting, putting a splint on. But can you describe what we did here today? So the patient had a small metallic foreign body, medial to the eye, just and just inferior, as you can see, right, just medial to the canthus. Uh, it was visualized on x-ray, uh, however, we could barely see it on exam. We were able to give him a little bit of burst head to calm him down with the needle coming towards his eyeball, which worked very well. However, yeah, the burst head worked wonderful. We, we actually wrapped him up in a little blanket there. And when we were trying to remove the foreign body, he had a very small cut that we were trying to operate through. We did not want to extend it since this is a cosmetically sensitive area. However, using 18 gauge and tweezers, we were not able to remove the, the, the foreign body. And we did do local it. anesthesia with some lidocaine. True. Yes, yes. And so with the lidocaine, we were able to work without causing any pain for him. However, we also only managed to push the metallic optic further into into his skin. Yeah, yeah. So, so we were pretty we were pretty bummed out about that. We were frustrated. We had almost given up when we thought, oh, we can use a magnet. So we we're actually able to find a magnet which pulled the object back up towards the towards the skin once more. Yeah, and you could see the skin the tint as you put the magnet up there. Exactly. And every time that we would try to grab it, if we missed it, it didn't matter because we just put the magnet back over right. until we got it positioned where we wanted to and could just pull it out. Yeah, you just, you just took some uh, forceps and uh, tooth forceps and you pulled it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good, yes, good. All right, uh, that's kind of a MacGyver sort of thing, so good, yes, good. thank you.